Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Neil, and today I'm looking at another smartphone. Now, this is the QBot GT72. It's only a small phone, but it is really good value for money. That's why I want to show you guys what it's like to use. Okay, so we're going to have a look at it now. Phone comes in a multitude of colours, uh, which I will show you. But we'll have a look at the yellow one first. Okay, so. Um, this is the back obviously, you get your camera, it's only a 2 megapixel camera, I will take a picture and let you guys see what the picture quality is like. Um, speaker, volume, controls and on off. Charging ports down on the bottom side here. The earphone jack is on the bottom with the mic. And there's nothing on this face at all. Okay, so that's the phone itself, let's take off the screen protector because we won't need that. Now, have a look at what else we get in the box. We get a set of earphone and mic. We get a micro USB charging cable. We get a standard wall mount uh, USB charging socket. And it comes with this uh, plastic uh, case. Okay. Now, the battery inside this is 1,300 mAh. It doesn't need to be that much, too powerful because um, it's not a really powerful phone. Okay, um, what we do is we have a look at the other colours. Basically, you just pick which colour you like and then we will fit the back cover and send it to you. So you can have like a, this is like a pearl white. This is a nice bright orange. There is a magenta, I think that's called, and there is a matte black. This has a matte finish as well. It's not totally smooth, but it's, it's got a nice feeling to it. Okay, so they're the five colours that you can pick. What we're going to do now is bring the camera in and start having a look at the phone itself. Okay, so let's dive straight in, turn it on, open it up. Uh, we'll just flick through the screens. As you can see, it's nice and smooth. Responds really well to the touch. I'm going to move an app around just so we can check there's no dead spots. Okay. So there's no dead spots on the screen at all. And as you can see, moves an app around nicely. Okay. Uh, so what else can we do? We go and play a game so we can have a look at the, the brightness and the pixels and what it's like to actually play games on the phone. Just wait for it to load up. This is a really simple game. As you can, can have a look at a movie. So we're going to galleries and then we take a picture as well. So I'll just play this. I've already prepared it. Just so you can see the sound quality, picture quality. So that's playing a movie. As you can see, it's nice and clear. Uh, we'll try and take a picture now, just so you guys can see what the camera is like. It's not the most powerful, like I've said, um, but it does work more than well enough, really, for the value of the phone. So we'll just bring something in. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we've got a couple of pictures there. And then, let's move that back and have a look. As you can see, the pixels are fine. It um, takes a nice crisp picture. It responds straight away, so that's good as well. What else can we do? Welcome back. So, uh, this is a Cubot 4-inch uh, smartphone. It has a screen resolution of 480 by 800. Uh, it has a dual core 1.2 gigahertz CPU. It has uh, 256 meg of RAM. It's dual SIM. It's running Android 4.2. Um, like I said, it's not the most powerful phone in the world. Uh, it's not the biggest or the best, but value for money, it is really good. I will say, if you are going to get this phone, make sure you get a TF card. I've got an 8 gig. TF card in this to help with the memory, okay, because the internal memory is not very high. Uh, the battery is 1300 mAh, uh, like I said, dual SIM, 
the, as you can see, and that's where the TF card will go. Okay, now I will put links below the video if you are interested in this little phone, um, <clears throat> and if you're interested in other smartphones or tablets or gadgets, then come to our website. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.